If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. It is another Icon player review. This time it is... Uh, Carlos Alberto, the moments right back, currently available as an SBC. Not the cheapest, mind you. On the market, this card will run you between 1.4 and 1.6 and a half million coins. Absolutely crazy prices when you really look at the card and weigh it up next to a couple of team of the season options. You will probably question why he is expensive as he is. I think I can answer that vaguely anyway um, but before we do let's go through some of the stats and see if he's actually looking any good three star skills four star weak foot which is it's an okay start for a brazilian you would kind of think well you know four star skills is a minimum but no three star skills for carlos alberto and a four star weak foot it's not but for a right back or right wing back he's not terrible so i'm not going to complain about it hide uh, sorry high attacking work rate a medium defensive work rate which for a full back can be good if all you want to do is attack, but if you like to defend as well, that medium defensive work rate may hinder you slightly. 5'11", which suits the game very well, an average body type. Doesn't have a unique body type, not that that's any surprise, because, uh, you know, motion capture would be a little bit on the difficult side. But, um, yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I, I thought maybe he would have, like, a, a slim body type, but great pace, uh, really good pace, great defensive stats. Without any help from a chem star whatsoever. Decent physicals in there as well. Aggression's a little bit on the lower side for a 94 rated defender. But either way, uh, that's not terrible. His passing out from the back should be very good as well. Is his crossing. I mean, I think his crossing should probably be a little bit higher on the card. But 88 uh, before a chem style isn't bad at all. And of course, we have relatively high dribbling and composure at 88. Ball controls 90, reactions 92. Shame about the agility of the balance. I mean, the agility not terrible at 87, but the balance at 80 is a little bit on the lower side again. But overall, good card. The, the problem I have is overall good card isn't really good enough for a 94 rated prime moments card. Yes, it's very icon heavy, and yet, what, three, four of them are loans? Five of them are loans. Uh, but, you know, I like to try cards out, and I play a lot of friendly. So, why not? Why not, indeed? I did play him in a secondary team. I uh, can't remember what, what I did, actually. I think I switched out. I took Liminen out, took Torres out, took uh, Michael Owen out, and I put in a few other players. I wasn't reviewing anyone. I just thought, well, I'll have a little bit of a change so at the back i play five generally uh, and i obviously i've mentioned this in every video but if you are new then you won't know what a ball that is by the way uh, that i play five three two so i use my fullbacks that should have been a penalty in my opinion i use my fullbacks as wing backs therefore i use them basically as attackers as much as i do defenders so when reviewing Carlos Alberto, I have to take this into consideration because that's how I use them. So we'll talk about his defending, but in terms of attack, he offers quite a lot, actually. Uh, a lot of pace, which is obviously very good, but then the ability to get round the back, in behind, and put some really good crosses into the penalty area. His, I don't know, positional awareness, I suppose you could say, that's a penalty. What's the difference between that one and the one earlier? That's a penalty, but the other one wasn't, and they're identical. So, yeah, a little bit of a, a weird one there. Like, in real life, that's not a problem, because, you know, obviously, certain referees get things wrong. Maybe the referee's looking at it from a different angle, so it looks a little bit more severe. But in this game, it's a game. So it's a little bit confusing to me why one of them is a, a penalty and the other isn't. But, um, yeah, his positional awareness is very, very good. He's only got 87 attack positioning, but he does seem to me... Like, it's a lot higher than that. Speaking of crosses, bang. That is pinpoint accurate. What a finish. But that is pinpoint accurate onto the left foot of Michael Owen. Now, Michael Owen doesn't have much of a left foot. But, I mean, it's not that, that bad, actually, thinking about it. Uh, did score a couple of decent goals with his left foot. But, either way, uh, wasn't, uh, 
into it. I don't know, it wasn't onto like his head or anything, but it was a really good ball in and it resulted in a goal. Forward runs there resulting in a goal again. He scored a couple for me actually from deep bursting forward. My full backs or wing backs as they are in a 5-3-2 are actually set to uh, overlap and join the attack. So more often than not, he was up there running forward. In terms of tracking back, obviously doesn't want to track back that much because he only has a uh, medium defensive work rate. But when he did get back to defend, there, there aren't that many defensive clips within this um, within this video. And, and the reason for that is because the, the main reason I like the, the wing backs these, this year, anything, or anyway rather, is because I like to attack with them. As you can see here, gets into a good position again and scores a good goal. Shot power carries him home with his, with his finishing because he only got 73 finishing, but his shot power helps a lot. But yeah, he's solid in defence, if any of you were wondering. As a fullback, if you told him to stay back while attacking, I, in my opinion, it cuts off a lot of what this card is good at doing, but I'm sure he would be a decent defender. Now, the reason I have value for coins down there at 50, which is literally a 50-50, is because this card is good, but it's not like blow my socks off good. It's not, oh my god, I, you have to have this card in your team. He is the best fullback in the game, but bar none, because he's not, he's nothing wrong with him. It's a, it's a 91 rated card that I suppose in itself, you know, screams issues because it's a 94 rated card, but on paper, it's actually only a 91 rated right back or right wing back. And you're spending a ridiculous amount. One, let's just say for argument's sake, one and a half million coins, depending on your platform, for this card. In my honest opinion, I don't think it's worth doing. SBC or not, because there are plenty of Team of the Seasons out there that will equal, if not better, this card. And will not cost you one and a half million coins. They're going to cost you a fraction of the price. And unless you have some sort of... And I, I would imagine that this is only going to refer to a very minimal amount of people but if you have a personal attachment to Carlos Alberto and you can see why I think that's probably going to be a, a minority and that's more because no one really watched him growing up he's kind of like the Pele but of the defense you know no one no one really watched Pele growing up because we're all too young and then of course you've got I mean unless there's some really old people amongst you and then in which case I feel for you I'm going old myself but um, Carlos Alberto is just going to be one of those players that he's known but he's not really, you know, not many people would have seen him play. So for me, I think there are far better options out there. If you've packed him, you've got a decent card. That's awesome, right? But if you haven't packed him, I honestly think your time and coins are probably best spent elsewhere. He's a really good defender. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him at all. I really enjoyed him. Great going forward. Great when I needed him at the back. Very good stand tackle, interception, slide tackle, good strength. Just didn't really... I don't know. It wasn't like, oh my god, it's so good. It was just as I expected it to be, which isn't a bad thing. It's just it's very, very expensive for what it is. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments. A very weird one for me, personally. I'd love to big him up more. I just can't. There's nothing that special about him. But uh, if you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye.